Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and hit that button, okay? Um, we are back for episode five of Crazy in Love, Krishan and Blue Face, okay? And I must say that this episode was pretty good. Um, it wasn't too much drama. So remember I was telling you on the last video that I think like the drama is gonna like slow down some and we're gonna see some different things. So in this, um, episode is not a whole lot to cover but it was like a lot of questions asked on um his side his family side so yeah you know we're gonna get into it so in this episode um it's time for Krishan and Blueface to meet his family okay so she has to meet his mother his sister and his brothers and, um in regards to them fighting so remember when Krishan beat up his mother all right, so Krishan was saying that she only beat his mother up because he let her, he told her to, and all of that. So you really got to hear the story behind behind that. So it starts off with Krishan and Blueface in the kitchen, you know, discussing what's going to happen, how is she feeling. This is going to be the first time that they all get to see each other and be around each other um, since these incidents has happened. So, you know, they was always going back and forth on the internet with each other on Instagram and all of this, that, and the third. So she just was like, well, babe, you know, you know her, babe, 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 I'm here for you, babe. He asked her how, um, how she feel about officially being a part of the tattoo face gang. Did y'all see that? What, what do y'all think about her getting his name tattooed on the side of her face? So now she has his name on her face. She didn't shave the head, but I'm a little curious. Like you could tell all of this is like a little new because her head isn't shaved on this episode and this is the fifth episode but now it's like her head is shaved in real time okay but jonathan is already on her face so i might be just paying a little too much to a detail okay but i was like okay something's not adding up here or well when was this what's the time frame of all of this stuff because she only has the jonathan and i didn't even know that she had two faces on her neck um, I don't know what the other tattoo is. Do y'all know what the other tattoo is or, or both of those tattoos, blue face? Cause she has the one right here and then she has one right here. So I'm interested to know what that is. Like I said, I love her. I like her, but I don't know, you know, what's going on in her body now, right now. I just only know what I see. So I don't know everybody. Um, so he's just talking to her in the kitchen and of course, you know, they, they getting high, they start smoking they turning up and he just was like, you know, are you ready? What are we going to do? So then you finally see them. I, they go to meet his mother, his brother, and his sister. Now, he has a restaurant. Did y'all know he had a restaurant? Put in the comments if you knew he had a restaurant. So Blueface has a restaurant like carryout um, called Blueface Fish and, and something. So they went over there. That's where they met his family at. But it didn't seem like the store or restaurant is like open for business. You know how they do things when they're filming? It looked like it's just like a prop, a place for some props just for them to talk. So I don't know. So I need to research that or y'all can research that for me and let me know if he really has this carry out. You know, I would be interested to go there and get something to eat and see how it tastes. It, and the sign said they serve chicken and waffles all day, every day. So that's what the sign says. So he's sitting there, you know, they finally get there. He's asking her how she feels. Is she ready to meet the family? She's like, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm with it or whatever the case may be. It's for you. I'm here for you. So they like, where are they at? So then Blueface FaceTimes um, his sister because he wants to know where they at, how far it is. You could tell that they were a little nervous and things like that. So she's like, all right, we're on our way. We about to pull up. They finally get there, okay? The sister is dressed with her little knee boots on, some little coochie cutters, and a shirt. She doesn't look like she is coming for a meet and greet at all. She looks like she is going to the club somewhere. His mother shows up. She has on all black shit nice. Now, Blueface's mother is really, really pretty. I had never seen her before um, before this episode. Like, I've seen glimpses of her on, like, um you know, social media, but on this episode, you fully, really get to see her. She's really a beautiful lady. Um, and his brother, his brother was there. So they get straight into it, discussing what happened. The sister is like, I want to know why you thought it was okay to let her beat up mommy. Um, 
you know, there's no reason for her to ever hit mommy. And her brother is like, you know, he's the one that has all the hostility. He has all the hostility. You know, he's like, um, you know, you feel like you tough. You know, you beat up an old lady. Why, why you ain't let my sister get her fade? My sister want to get her fade. Why you ain't let my sister get her fade? So Blueface with Sean is like, well, we didn't come here to do that. We didn't come here. The brother like, well, what's up with all that tough shit? Y'all was talking all that tough shit. She was talking all that tough shit online, talking about um, I beat up the mother and I beat up the sister. Like, no, my sister right here. Give my sister her fade. You scared for real. And so Krishan, y'all know her. She was like, what? Who are you talking to? She was like, are y'all trying to like solve the problem or you came here to try to start another one? Like, what are we talking about? So Blueface is like, no, man, like y'all don't even know what happened. Mommy was dead wrong um, and all of, all of that, right? So it started off with them yelling. So finally, Blueface is like, okay, well, let's start with who who started it, where, where the source, start with the source so we can address what happened. And so we can move on and move finally move past it. So, from the story that I got, okay, the mother was saying that Krishan was disrespectful to her straight off the bat, all of this, right? And it is so funny. Y'all, let me know if y'all know about this argument. Put it in the comments. It's funny because y'all know parents, parents can exaggerate, parents can lie, you know, they can stretch the truth, right? So, I was listening to both of them and... Yo, as soon as he, he told his mother, he was like, you didn't start with Krishan. Like, you ain't throw a bottle of Gatorade and a glass at her first. And the mother was like, no, she started with me. I did not. And Blueface hopped up like he went like this. He was like, like, mommy, like, you doing this? So it was so funny. So in that moment right there, I don't know. I, I think the mother was lying a little bit. I do. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I think the mother was lying a little bit just because of Blueface's reaction. And I know about those reactions when you know somebody is lying or leaving out details. You be like, I cannot believe you are sitting here doing this right now. So that was super, super funny. So Blueface was like, oh my gosh, okay, I get it. You trying to tell a story because you need them to be on your side. So then they get to tell them the story. So, um, She's just like, you know, well, at the end of the day, the sister's like, at the end of the day, it doesn't make any sense and she shouldn't have hit you. So apparently some guys jumped on his sister and then Krishan for his sister. Um, Krishan was saying that Carly husband jumped in it and was fighting her. So I was like, oh my God, not the husband been banging Krishan. So it was just, it was just like a lot. In, in that moment in that room like you really had to catch all the stories because the brother is like well my sister my sister need to get her fade tell the truth you you playing tough he even started talking to security and standing up like she playing tough she wants y'all think she's so tough she really scared of my sister for real she really scared so Krishan is just sitting there like this like what what so she walks off so Krishan walks off she goes over there with her friends and I guess like some of the camera crew she's looking for a blunt at this moment so when she comes back, she's smoking and um, Blueface's mother is just like, I am your mother. I don't give a damn. Like, you know, you was 18 with millions of dollars. I get it. You know, but there's no way. I'm your mother. And he was like, well, you called me a bitch ass nigga. Ooh. When he said that, I was like, wow. You know, because I just think that is like very disheartening when um, people talk to their kids like trash and call them up their names and stuff so i was like why would she call her own son a bitch ass nigga like that's crazy to me like talking to him like he's somebody on the streets but you know how i do it definitely let you get to see what a little bit of maybe his upbringing was like and how him and Krishan are now together because it seems like they are together because there was some trauma bonding going on. And you know how it is when you are trauma bonding with somebody. It will make you feel like you and this person have so many things in common. Like y'all are meant to be. Y'all are going to be in love. Y'all are just so connected and understand each other well. So it sounds like there's a lot of trauma bonding going on in this relationship with them too. So they did all of this in the restaurant. 
you know, the little carry out place, right? And so next thing you know, the brother is like, I'll knock you out. And Krishan is like, you doing all this? I'm a female. You have all this hostility. He was like, you can go, you can go get your fathers. You can go get your brothers. You can go get all of them. I'll fight all of them. I ain't, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. So Krishan is like, why, why would I go get my brothers? My nigga right here. That's like, she said, my nigga right here. Why would I go get my brothers? Next thing you know, Blue Face hop up to try to get ready to fight the brother. The brother trying to fight Blue Face. Security get in it. The brother tell Blue Face like, yo, you doing all this knowing that security and ain't nobody going to let us fight. So so I will say that even though I know like Chris Sean's family meet and greet with him was a little um, scripted, but I believe it went off script a, a, a lot. Blue Face's family meetup seemed a little, to be a little bit more scripted because it was enough time for him to hit his brother if he really wanted to fight his brother. If either one of them really wanted to fight each other. Um, so that was that. You know, they still doing it. Krishan is smoking and she was like, I'm just trying to figure out who y'all talking to. Don't talk to me. Y'all talking to him. He, she telling the brother, you need to talk to your brother. You need to talk to your brother. So Blueface is like, mommy, you know, Krishan was defending you when all this started. She was defending you, telling me not to do this, telling me not to put you out. He was like, and as soon as she came in the door, you were like, oh, y'all got another dog in here. I got to go. You putting this bitch before me. He said, and I said to um, Krishan, like, what? She said, he said, she was like, oh, my God, girl, are you talking to me like that? Like, you don't like me? And he was like, um, mommy, that's exactly what you did. He said, and she was defending you. She was like, no, she wasn't. And he was like, yes, she did. She rolling up her blood. She's like, yes, I was. Yes, I was. He was like, she was defending you. And once she was defending you, after you said fuck her, all this and the third, he was like, um, you know, I told her like, yeah, when she talking about fuck you, she feeling the way she don't want to stay here because you're here. And he said, and you was like, what? And she was like, dang, that's how you feeling, you know, Miss Carlisa, that's how you feeling. So, Blueface was like, and I, was, and I told you, like, you, what you defending her for? We up here, we beefing about you. So apparently the whole fight started over Chris Sean being at the house, um, coming to the house while his mother and his sister were staying there um, for whatever reason may be. So the, at the end of the day, she ends up behind Blueface. She's, the mother talking to Blueface, trying to talk to him and make some sense of everything. Krishan is, going, you know, supporting her man. She rubbing his back. She rubbing his neck. And the mother is like, I don't understand why we got, why you got that demon, that devil behind you, rubbing you, rubbing on you like a weirdo while we're sitting here trying to have a family conversation. So Krishan start laughing. So once the family and them was getting ready to fight and they start going back and forth again, Krishan, she laughed. She was like, she was like, this blunt is the only thing keeping me together. That was so funny. Like I told y'all, they were like totally just off the chain, but but a little more controlled. Because like I said, I think theirs was a little more um, scripted and planned well. And maybe just seemed like it was something that needed to go on because of the history and for the show. So after that, they go. Um, you know, it takes, they take a little break and then they they meet up. They decide to meet up with, um, them one-on-one. -on -one. So Krishan and Blueface then go to the mother house. She has a beautiful house. They go to the mother house with the sister and the mother. Blueface gets his one-on-one -on -one time with his mother and Krishan gets the one-on-one -on -one time with his sister. But make sure you, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and the video. Leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think. If you saw this episode. His mother and talked to his mother privately. And the mother is just expressing how she feels. She was like, I'm your mother. I love you. I don't ever want to, you know, fight with you or see anything wrong to you, to hurt your feelings. And Blueface is just talking to her. You know, Blueface is telling her that, you know, you didn't have the right to come to my house and then tell me what I should do in my house. So then it comes into more perspective as to, Okay, what really happened? So Blueface, um, the mother, the sister needed somewhere to stay. Blueface had agreed to allow the sister to come and live with him and stay with him to, so she could get her own place out there. The mother came with her and they didn't like the, the mother had a problem with the fact that he was having company and they were bringing another dog into the house and that Krishan was there. She doesn't like the type of chicks that he deal with. So she was like, 
you could have told them to leave or told me to get a hotel room or not even brought them back home. So Blueface was coming from that point of, it's my house, I'm grown, I'm doing y'all a favor. Y'all asked me, could she come here? I said, yes. I was not going to not do and have company and do what I do in my house. He said, because this is my house, just because you were there. So his mom was like, but I, but I feel like that's something that you should have done. You should have told me to get a room. You shouldn't have brought these girls to the house. So I understood both gripes, but more importantly, you know, in his, in his defense, it is his house. You cannot tell him what to do in his house. And he was like, how are you going to show up and tell me what to do in my house? He was like, and when you, I'd have been with you. Um, and stuff, and you got a husband and a boyfriend, so he started spilling the mother tea. Yes, he did. I was like, oop. And the mother, you can tell the mother was like, I never did this or whatever. He was like, yes, you did. So he was like, I just don't say nothing, but I saw everything you were doing. So he was just like, um, she was like, well, you threw money at me. She was like, you told me she was going to pay for everything. She was like, you know who I am. I'm not picking no money up off the floor. Do you see me? You know about me. Stop playing. I'm not picking no money up off the floor. You know who I am. That's all she kept saying. You know who I am. You better act like you know. And he was like, she, he was like, okay, well, Mr. Independent, you should have used your own money then. And she was like, why would I use my own money? I'm going to use your money. Why would I use my own money to, to, to fly up here and stay somewhere? I'm going to use yours. So then that's when I was like, well, if he threw the money at you and you wanted to use it, you would have picked it up. But I definitely understood where she was coming from. Like, don't throw no money at me. But you know, in those moments, that's when you bite off your nose. Don't bite off your nose to spite your face because you got a lot of pride going on, you know. So, like I said, this episode, it wasn't really too much going on. I liked it. It was a calmer episode and all of that. He's just He's just telling his mother that she's not the type of woman that he would be with. You know, he likes what he likes. And at this time, it shows you where Krishan and the sister is talking. And the sister was like, I feel like me and you were cool. And then things changed. She was like, and I feel like Blueface fuck with you. But I think he just be fucking, fucking with you sometimes, like picking with you. And she was just like, yeah, she was like, you know, we want the same thing. But, you know, she was like, I'm not rushing. I'm not rushing nobody to, to do it and be with me and things like that. So the sister was like, you know, she wanted to talk because she felt like her and Krishan did have a bond. We're forming a form of a relationship and she wanted to know where things went wrong. She just wanted her to understand why she wanted to fight her because she fought, she fought and put her hands on her mother. And she was like, you know, she a 50 year old lady, you know, so that shouldn't even have been happening. So they talking about that. They having a little conversation. And she just was like, Krishan was like, you know, she loved blue or whatever, but she not going to pressure him to do something that he's not wanting to do. And then it went back to Blueface and his mother. So, um, needless to say, they all got to have their little kumbaya moment. Um, they all ended up apologizing. And I think it was really good. So, when it was time for Blueface and he came in and it was time for them to go, he was like, we're leaving. Let's go. And his mother was like, oh, Krishan, you jump every time he tell you to jump and all that. You know, pick it. So, um, they ended up leaving, going back to their house. And he was asking her, like, how did she think everything went with the meeting and all of that? And then it it went off. So, although next week they are going to go to counseling. Yes, indeed. They are going to go to see a therapist together. Um, they're going to see the same one and separately. And the therapist said that he's asked both of them the same question as of what they want from each other. Where do they see their relationship going? And he was like, neither one of y'all were able to give me an answer. So I definitely want to see this because it's about to get deep. Meanwhile, from the trailer, the little clip, she is sitting there in therapy drinking a Red Bull and Patron out the bottle. So that is so funny. I was like, this girl is crazy. She's off the chain. But I'm interested in seeing how, how that's going to go because now we're about to hear more of the story about how they feel individually about each other and things that's going on with them. You know, it's always good to have like a self-healing moment to come have a moment of clarity and get to the bottom of some things. So I think that's going to be, I think that's going to be really good and very helpful for us to know exactly what's going on with them and how they may met and things like that. So I ain't have much today. They not giving a whole lot of nothing. 
So I want to see. They're not giving a whole lot. It's starting to calm down. So I recommend anybody who say, oh, I don't like Zeus Network. It's so negative. Yeah, but it's a little calm. That's the fifth episode. I don't know how many episodes, excuse me, my nose. I don't know how many episodes are going to be left, but I'll say watch it. So like I said, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.